The World Health Organization reports breast cancer is the most common cancer among women worldwide. For a local registered nurse at Tucson Medical Center, having to go through this disease never really crossed her mind. But Nine on Your Side's Brooke Chow is here this morning after sitting down with her about the long road to recovery and what is keeping her motivated during her treatment. Good morning, Brooke. Yes, good morning. This time last year, Sherry Lynn Woolman was cancer free, but today she is undergoing stage 1B grade 3 breast cancer treatment. Her hopes are high, but her drive to raise awareness is even bigger. Well, um, it w there was just a day where I felt maybe I had a lump that was a little bit painful. For a Tucson mom, wife, and employee of TMC, cancer was something she never saw coming. Sherry Lynn was diagnosed in February after feeling a lump in her left breast, but the mammogram showed the cancer was actually in her right one. It was the early diagnosis that saved her life. And it's been a whirlwind, you know, from February to now. It's just one thing after another, and we're just moving on as best we can. In just eight months, Sherry Lynn has gone through a double mastectomy, chemotherapy, and hormone suppression therapy. It affects everybody. It, uh, it's an emotional trial. Um, it never goes away. You just learn how to deal with it over time. The hardest part is explaining to her young daughters that she carries a breast cancer gene that could affect them later on. You know, I have my two-year-old and my six-year-old where I'm reading them books to help them understand in their language. The cancer diagnosis hasn't slowed her down. She hopes to continue to help educate women of all ages to get checked sooner rather than later. You know, with the pandemic and everything, every, everybody just kind of pushed things to the side. So if you haven't done it, now's the time to, you know, make sure that you get up to date with all of your testing. Although the road to recovery is long, Sherry Lynn relies on her outlook on life to get through cancer. There's just so much to live for and so much to look forward to. Um, and a, a positive mindset really does help get you through the darker times in life. Lynn is motivated to beat breast cancer and also help other women do it too. She's also a team leader for the Pink Out the Park Walk hosted by TMC this Sunday. All right. Thank you for sharing her story, Brooke. So we also wanted to break down uh, some of the numbers a little further when it comes to breast cancer. Yes, and this, the stats are startling, as you know, Lydia. According to the National Breast Cancer Foundation, like we mentioned earlier, one in eight women will develop breast cancer in their lifetime. And in 2022, an estimated 287,000 new cases of invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed in women here in the U.S. Yeah, so important to bring awareness to this. And then digging deeper, also estimated for this year, over 40,000 women will die from breast cancer in the United States. And on average, every two minutes, a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer in the U.S. That's almost 700 women per day. So now, Brooke, let's talk about risk factors that uh, we need to look out for. Yes, well, first up, being a woman, but not to neglect the men. In 2022, an estimated nearly 3,000 men in the U.S. will be diagnosed with breast cancer. But the Arizona Oncology Foundation emphasizes that women are much more likely. Now, other risk factors include consuming alcohol, personal and family history, and elevated lifetime estrogen exposure, which could take the form of early onset menstruation or late onset menopause. Well, the Pink Out the Park event will be held at the University of Arizona Tech Park from 8 to 12 p.m. on Sunday, and that's where Sherry Lynn will be right there. All right, Brooke, thank you. Jose, over to you.